Google is about to show off its groundbreaking AI chatbot for search, so will it replace ChatGPT? Microsoft's use of OpenAI's GPT-4 was briefly seen by Bing search engine users. Screenshots were taken of a chatbot button next to the search button. This button leads to a page with information about the new chat interface, which lets users ask questions and get answers from AI with source citations. Microsoft will probably promote the service on the home page of the standard search, but it still wants users to fact-check and give feedback to help AI get better. 100 million people are using OpenAI's ChatGPT every month, which is putting pressure on Google to do something about it. Because of the competition, Google has now made it public that it is about to launch AI products for search and user interaction, APIs for developers, a business application, and its own cloud platform. Google has put a lot of attention on two of its major language models called Palm and Lambda. Google thinks that these are the largest and most advanced AI models available in the world. Google has also said that these models will be released soon with Lambda, a model for direct human interaction that poses a serious threat to ChatGPT coming out first. Google also plans to add its language models to Google Search soon. This will allow the AI systems to improve current search methods in experimental and innovative ways beyond the ability of ChatGPT. On February 8 at 8.30 ET, Google streamed an event about search maps and related topics on YouTube. An invitation from The Verge says that Google will also show how AI is changing how people search for, find, and interact with information, making search more natural and intuitive than ever before. Most curiously, it's said that Google is trying to test a chatbot called Apprentice Part, which is based on its Lambda model and is equivalent to ChatGPT. It works by letting the user type a question or text and getting a direct answer, but what sets Apprentice Bard apart from ChatGPT is its ability to respond to current requests. The biggest problem with ChatGPT is that its memory only goes as far as 2021, which is when the GPT 3.5 training data stopped. Google's Lambda is also said to be better at math, and Google is trying out different ways to search and show search results. In one version, a language model will suggest questions under the search box. This could start an AI dialogue as a chat feature to replace the current I'm feeling lucky search option. What a user types in a question, answers generated by AI will show up in a separate box that can lead to further questions and answers related to the topic. Below this chatbot part, the regular search results will show up as usual, but it's still not clear if this implementation will happen. Even though it is thought that Google intends to launch up to 20 new AI products along with this chatbot-based search, an estimate based on similar web data suggests that about 100 million individuals use ChatGPT in January, making it the fastest-growing online platform in history. And while it does not compete directly with Google because information search is simply one component of it, some people already predict that chatbots and similar technologies will be the future of search. Even if the hypothesis about search proves to be incorrect, ChatGPT's enormous user base will disrupt other technological firms, and with Microsoft's help, it is now capturing a potential growth market. As this technology ripens, competitors are gathering, such as Meta also forming with the intention of entering the chatbot race. With constant advances in artificial intelligence in the domain of chatbots, massive language models are consistently pushing the edge, and now a new text-to-image art generator called Blue Willow AI is gaining traction while apparently putting a wrench in Midjourney's business strategy. All because because Blue Willow is absolutely free and enables anyone to create great art and more without any prior digital art knowledge or talent. Blue Willow has developed a community of over 100,000 people in just a few weeks. Users can get started by simply joining the Discord group and experimenting with prompts to develop AI art by typing out an image description in one of the newbie channels, which produces four images at a time. This seems to be a step towards the future of art, as community members can then download the results for their own use. The results look like professional professional digital art pieces and can even be photorealistic. And speaking of the future of art, there is a company in Manhattan called Masterworks that is leading the way in making blue chip art more accessible by using proprietary data-driven technology. Their business model has not only made this previously exclusive asset class available to everyone through their white glove process, but it has also given investors net returns that have never been seen before, beating the S&P 500 time and time again. The Masterworks process starts with buying an expensive piece of art, then dividing it into affordable pieces and finally putting it on the platform. You can read all the offering circulars at the SEC database. This isn't any kind of crypto or NFT. It's fine art by artists like Picasso and 
and Banksy, and the numbers don't lie. Even if you don't know much about art, you can see that the S&P pales in comparison to Masterworks' last 11 returns. Masterworks has become known because of these returns. It has been on CNBC, Forbes CNN, the New York Stock Exchange, and all over the news. Masterworks has a world-class research team that looks for art pieces they think will give their customers the best returns. They have also figured out how to utilize the advent of technology and modernize an age-old process. Because more and more people look to hedge against their traditional portfolio and increase their upside this year, Masterworks has been seeing unprecedented demand. Visual art isn't the only domain that is being affected by breakthroughs in technology as we presented Audio LDM, a stunning text-to-audio system that uses a latent space and contrastive language audio pre-training latents to learn continuous audio representations. Here are some examples of single text prompts that created the following audio clips close. The contrastive language audio pre-training models use text embedding as a condition while the latent diffusion models, also known as LDNs, learn the audio embeddings. Audio LDM improves the quality of generation and the speed of processing by learning latent representations of sound without modeling cross-modal relationships. It has state-of-the-art text-to-audio performance as measured by both objective and subjective metrics, and it can manipulate audio based on text without any extra training. The most impressive thing is that Audio LDM was trained on audio caps using a single GPU. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the following video.